Okay, so the other error is CERT 123. CERT 123 is basically you're claiming that the student is a completer. So let's look at one student right now. Okay, we have here Jimbo Jones, okay? For Jimbo Jones, he is triggering a CERT 123. We're claiming that he completed three pathways this year. Wow. You have um, 213, 196, and 102. However, if we're stating that the student is a completer, what is missing in his data? Essentially, if you're reporting the student as a completer, then of course there should be a corresponding capstone course reported, okay? So since I have a lot of courses here, let me just filter it for this current academic year, 2019, 20. So currently I have three completer records, but only two state course codes. So Obviously, by just looking this, there's already one pathway missing its completer course, okay? So again, we consult our valid code combos document. And then of course, you have to confer with the counselor, hey, did this student really finish all three pathways this year? If they say yes, then of course, it's just a data issue on, on your part. So now, we consult our valid code combinations document. Let's start with 102. Okay, we have 102 here. And 102 has 713 up to 7135. Okay, so looking at this, it's obvious that you are missing the capstone course for this student. Okay, so again, you can either resubmit your SCSC and CRSC file, or just if it's just a handful of students causing errors, then you can always just um, add the capstone course. Now for 196, We have 7, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So obviously 12 is a capstone course. If you look at this, okay, you're fine with this. And then for 2, 1, 13, it's just a two course pathway, 8, 2, 3, 0, and 8, 2, 3, 1. So obviously you're also missing the capstone for this particular course. So if you're missing the capstone course, then by all means, add those courses for that student. Okay, now, if the problem is on the SCTE side, then you probably forgot to report the student last year as a uh, completer and you're just putting it this year, then of course we have a problem. You're inaccurately reporting the student this year with a CT pathway, you report the student in the year that they completed the pathway, okay? So these are some um, considerations you need to, to look at. And of course, I highly recommend that you be comfortable with using the valid code combinations document because this is your go-to document when resolving CTE errors, okay? That's it for the demo.